morning. Um, about a week and a half ago, I was coming home from Disney and I got pulled over by Mr. Policeman and uh, he gave me a warning. This light needs replacing and I've like not paid any attention to it but if I drive at night I don't need to be pulled over and given a ticket. I mean I got lucky with the last police officer. He was really nice. But I've been driving this morning because I took it up to Walmart because I figure, you know, pop a, pop a light in there. Not a big deal. Because um, they did fix my turn signals. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think this guy just wasn't in the mood. Um, told me it would be an hour and a half to two hours. He had a couple of oil changes first. I went back in about two hours, and I hate to say son of a bitch, but I swear to God, he told me he couldn't do it, or they couldn't do it there, so I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Does this mean that I am going to have to go to the dealer and spend God only knows how much to replace the stupid light? Well, I came home, went on YouTube, and apparently all you have to do... I'll have to disconnect this. I might not even have to disconnect that. It's hot right now because I've been driving. Uh, this is the overflow bottle for the radiator. And um, the light is like right down in there. So it is kind of a pain to get to. But, you know, I mean, all he had to do was pop this out and, and put it in there. The guy on YouTube took like five minutes it was a joke and I was gonna have both of them done and this one you can see it's right there um, of course or down there someplace I'd have to look around but my engines way too hot right now um, so the guy on YouTube for this side uh, said to go up inside this way and pop all of this out which that really doesn't look like fun. So I am just going to, since I'm only minus one light, um, and this is the one, I'm just going to do this side, and I'll keep an eye. On the other side, this is a 2007 Honda Civic. Um, the engine has been replaced in 2000. Was it when? It was... Um, 2011 they had to replace the engine at their expense and they've also had to redo the paint job and it's already looking like crap um you can see that's, that's a mess I, I, i'm gonna raise hell too um because i think it's only two or three years old i don't know but anyway i'd have to look back and Anyway, I, I, I can do this. I know I need an engine motor in here, too, so I'll have to think about doing that. So there are some things I can do. I actually can do an oil change, but it's not worth it, you know. I mean, I can take it to Walmart and do it for 20 bucks, you know, and the oil would cost me 15 so why bother because it, it it is a pain in the neck so anyway I am going to go rest for a couple of minutes while my car um, cools down and then I will do the insert so I'm just thank God for YouTube I'll tell you now I do need an axle over here um, driver's side axle and obviously I'm going to have to take care of that probably uh, sooner than later. Um, like maybe in two weeks, um, the tires have all been replaced. And I need to do front brakes. I've already done back brakes. So i got to take care of that. Um, and I might take it to Sears. I'll check how much they cost. Um, I don't think Honda is going to charge that much, though, so I might just let Honda do it. 
you know, they always scare me. You go in there for a hundred dollar job and you walk out with seven hundred dollar bill. So you do have to be careful. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do right now. Talk later. Bye.